is Dale D'Antoni here. Welcome to the Sofa Sessions. D'Antoni. Welcome back to the Sofa Session Podcast. This week we have on Soul J, uh, a talented R&B artist from the Augusta area. He's been nominated six different times. He's won two for R&B in the Augusta area and probably all over. There's probably competitions he's been in he doesn't even know. He's had his songs in movies. He's had his songs on Instagram, all the huge social media platforms like TikTok, TikTok and all that kind of stuff. And uh, he's been on various podcasts. And uh, it was just, just such a blast to have him on and learn about um, his background and how he started and you know where he's at and what his future holds. Uh, I think he is doing an amazing job with um, putting out good music and just staying consistent because I feel like that's, you know, a killer of dreams is just staying consistent. And um, I know sometimes uh, it probably doesn't seem like it's going to work out, but if you just stay consistent, keep grinding, um, keep putting your head down and just, you know, follow the path, then one day you will be rewarded from it. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for listening. Don't forget to check him out. Um, I'll link all his socials and all that stuff. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, all that kind of stuff. And, um, yeah, thank you guys for listening to this episode, and we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, man. Well, thank you for coming on today. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thanks for, thanks for inviting me. <laughs> yeah. You guys came in, and it smelled better than how it did. <laughs> <laughs> I might have to ask if you guys could spray whatever you guys had on before uh, y'all left. I was about to say, what I got? What I, I think I, that's St. Laurent. <laughs> I got on. Oh, okay. right. <laughs> I, to go I, wanna, I ain't want to come in smell like the gym. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> yeah. So, how you been today? What you been doing? I've been good, man. I've been um, just relaxing today, preparing for work week, mm-hmm. uh, preparing for events that I got coming up. Worked out. I got a puppy, so. Oh dang! Yeah, congratulations. He's, thank you. He's, he's a handful, but that's pretty much it. Just yeah. relaxing, man. How yeah, about you? Same thing. I mean, working, but. Yeah, working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working throughout the week. I don't like what. Do you, like, what do you do for full work? Like you said, getting ready for the work week. So it's Tuesday. So full time, mm-hmm. I do music. Part time, okay. I do. I'm a cosmetologist. I've been doing that for like oh, 20 dang. years. Yeah. What kind of cosmetology? Like, like hair? Yeah, women, men, oh, skin, dang. all that good stuff. So yeah, dang, that's yeah, what's man. up. <laughs> so yeah, that's that's uh that's on autopilot. So I yeah. can do that whenever. Dang, yeah, I was listening to some of your stuff with uh, my fiance before y'all got in, and I had listened to it prior, but I was just showing her, and like I had to like throw her off of me, you know. We were getting it was getting a little spicy. I was gonna have to like push back the the interview oh or something. I was getting interview. nervous, man. No, nah, I do. Uh, I try to make different type of music. So I try to make R and B, hip hop. Try to make slow, fast. I just I want to dab into every uh, genre if I can. Yeah, I yeah. think we were listening to like the R and B stuff. Yeah. I, I, I try to, uh, but I try. I like to make music to make couples come together, and then I yeah. write about heartbreak too. So yeah, do you yeah. get that a lot? Like people are like, "Oh, this is like kind of sex music or something." Uh, yeah, <laughs> I, I do because like I have a few people. They be like, uh, "I like to listen to this when I'm doing so and so," and I was like, well, "You don't have to tell me that." But that was the whole purpose of it, you know. Just yeah. uh, some people, some people need that, you know. Uh-huh. Music help people. So, yeah. yeah, maybe get them in a better like headspace or something like that. Yep. <laughs> That's that's all I want. I just want people to feel it here and whatever Ooh. they do after that. As long as they're not killing, then I'm good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think anybody's <laughs> like, maybe it's like a sensual kind of kill if they would be listening nah, to your I'm stuff. Nah, I'm like, uh-uh, don't kill nobody <laughs> off my stuff. I'm going to have to take it down. Yeah. Yeah. Do you ever listen to your own stuff when you're kind of doing that stuff? Um, we used to my uh, music. Mm-hmm, yeah. Because it, does it kind of put you in a certain headspace? That's, uh, that's crazy because, <laughs> no, I haven't. I, I have it, but I can say when I do write about it, I mm-hmm. put myself in that mind frame. Oh yeah, that's so, true. Yeah. So I Dang. try to be there in that moment when yeah. I write about it. So yeah, Dang. I guess ever, so. Yeah, that's so, yeah. <laughs> have you ever thought about like writing a book? Because like that, I mean, that's almost what it is. Yes, I thought about writing a book uh, about my life, uh, but I I usually don't like to try to revisit a lot of stuff because I've had mm-hmm. a lot of bad stuff, but I had good stuff. Yeah. But I feel like it, if somebody read it, they'll be like. He don't even look like he went through that. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I thought about it a few times. Yeah. yeah. Dang. Maybe you should. I'm, hey, I might. Or I might just do a little audio book. Oh, yeah. That would be yeah. cool, too. I'll just sit and just talk about it. That's easier than yeah. writing and all that other stuff. Or we could talk about it all right now. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I'm we can. <laughs> <laughs> so it's probably not going to be enough time in the day for that. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. I mean, I got a few SD cards we could probably burn oh, through. Oh, Lord. <laughs> So you're from Augusta? Yes, born dang. and raised. What high school did you go to? I went to Cross Creek High School. Oh, dang. One of my buddies went there, too. Cross Creek. I, um, what year, you know what year I came out? I came out 10, 2010. Uh, then he came out probably like 2018. 
Oh no, no, no. <laughs> I, I was being I was being on from across. Yeah. The year. So when you were in high school, were you performing and stuff like um, in front of your classmates? Yeah. Or? So I did. I was in gospel choir in school, and then I was in regular um, choir in school. So of course, when we do performance, I had like two or three lead roles. I think. When I was oh, in dang. home choir, but Ooh. they used to always want me to. You should sing Lena. So I was like, I don't want to sing Lena. <laughs> so yeah, I um I was singing in high school, yeah, and dang. talent shows and stuff. Yeah, did people ever make fun of you for like singing? Actually, they did. Before I was in high school, my voice was like really high. Mm-hmm. Before uh, the bass and stuff came in, so people I would be uh scared to sing. They were like, Oh my god, you sound like a girl. <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't want to sing. And then too, um, I I was very runny at the time, so um, I didn't have control over my runs and stuff. So mm-hmm. I was just like, everything I was singing, I was like, as I got older, I was like, okay, everything you sing, you don't have to have a run in it. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> people would make fun of me, but then um, I don't know what clicked with people. They was just like. You have a unique voice. Can mm-hmm. you sing for me this and that? And then it just went from there. Like Anthony can sing. He needs to sing. He needs to sing. And then I was at. Yeah, it's probably when you started getting like more popular with your singing. That's when people yeah. were like, "Oh, I probably should make fun of him." And it's weird because it's just like you could be doing the same thing you're doing <laughs> before people start paying attention, yeah. and then they just automatically like it's weird. Yeah, I think when people get around like popular people, they like to switch up. Yeah, and I'm just like <laughs> very down. To, I'm just like um, my best friend was. Telling my guys and somebody, like, your guy there's a celebrity. I said, don't tell him that. I'm I'm a regular, regular guy. Like I'm chill. Yeah. So you're not a celebrity, is what you're saying? Mm, I don't think I am. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I am. Yeah. Mm-mm. I mean, I feel like you are. You have like your own manager. I never had a manager before. It's just me. Mm, I just got a manager. What last year, year four? Oh dang. Yeah, mm. I got a whole team, but they're Dang. they're all they're all my people. I got creative <laughs> directors, all that stage directors, stuff mm. like that. That's what's up. Yeah, but they I, all they all people that love me. So yeah, <laughs> but you need that to get further, you know. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, because I started needing help, so I was like, okay, I need help. I gotta ask people. Yeah, yeah. it get it gets to a point where it's like a lot for like one person. It is, you know. It day is. in day out is a lot. Yeah, and I do a lot of stuff, so I'm just like, yeah, I need help. <laughs> so yeah, I'm thankful for her, my team and yeah. my manager. She just stepped right up. Yeah, well, that's yeah. what's up, man. <laughs> <laughs> so how long have you been like singing? You've been singing since like what you were seven, I think. I've been singing a long time. Yeah, six or seven. Since I've you came sing- out the womb, right? Yes, I've been <laughs> singing a long time, and it's, it runs in my family. So I've been singing since then. Um, like I say, I got not motivated about singing sometimes and then my brother was like uh my brother he majored in music and did opera and stuff he was like you got a beautiful voice you need to always sing my mom would tell me that all the time and i was like i don't want to be a singer but mm-hmm. deep down no i did want to be a singer i yeah. just didn't want them to i want to be a singer yeah damn yeah. So I, i've always uh, been a singer yeah I've, I've been a singer longer than i did hair really mm-hmm. dang yeah. so what do you think what do you think you're better at I wouldn't say what I'm better at because I got a passion for both of them. I would Ooh. say which one I have a stronger passion for. I Ooh. have a stronger passion for music. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Dang. So when you started, like, I guess, professionally singing, like, really putting your name out there, were your friends and family, like, very supportive of you? Yes. I would, uh, shockingly, yes. So I would say my main few that I talked to on the regular, they was just like, you know, anything you do, we're going to support. Mm-hmm. And then when they start seeing, like, you know, damn, he's good at it, and I can tell, like, he has a passion for this, you know, they support it even more. Now, I did have some that was like, oh, try to put me in a box. It was like, oh, we want you to stick to this. Yeah. But I didn't let that, like, deter me from what I want to do, because I'm mm-hmm. that type of person. If I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Yeah. Yeah, so... Was yeah. it was it like your closest like people that you knew try to deter you away from it? Because I feel like that's always a big thing. It was a few, not not the uh, my main mains, Ooh. but it was a few that I was shocked. Like, oh wow, I didn't think that. But, yeah, but I think some people they know like uh, when you're gonna be good at something, or they feel like you're gonna leave them behind or whatever. They try to just like, oh, I think you need to just do this. Mm. And then just like you can't put people in a box. Yeah. Yeah. Dang. Yeah, I always feel like the closest people to you are always the ones that are like, nah, don't do that. Yep. Don't do that. Yep. Maybe they're trying to protect you then. I don't know. Protect you or they, they see you doing a certain thing. So how people visualize you sometimes, they visualize you like, oh, if I see you as a nurse, 
I feel like you should be. You know, like when you're yeah. coming up, your parents, they feel like they see you as certain things. And then when you go on your own path and do your own thing, it's just like, oh, well, I thought I was going to have a doctor for a son, but he wanted to be a manager at McDonald's. So it's like, <laughs> it's like, but still to me, I'm just like, if that's what he's good at and he's making hell of money. Yeah. That's what he want to do. Yeah, so, you can make a lot of money managing McDonald's. Yeah. I, I, I got a few clients that. I'm like, oh yeah, I'll make some money, money. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, I just feel like that. Do y'all do y'all gossip a lot? Like in the in the barber chair, I feel like, like um, a lot of barber places I'm, gossip. I'm very a lot. Uh, chill, laid back. So when it, it's a, if it's mess and stuff like that, I don't be wanting to hear that. Oh really? Now I can't speak for <laughs> other people around me, but I can just say for myself, I just I shut it down. I'm like, mm, I don't want to hear that. Yeah. And then I've I've owned um, a few hair salons and stuff and. That's one thing I didn't tolerate. I was just like, look, if y'all got to talk about something, you need to take that outside. Mm-hmm. So yeah. Or I guess like your like your clients is life. Like the the, the cra- oh, Okay, so um I would say not say we would have therapy sessions. <laughs> yeah. So they would open up to me about certain things going on in their life and mm-hmm. um I would give them advice or if, or if I had something going on in life of uh, mm-hmm. my three or four that I'm really close with we would have a heart to heart. But other than that, it wouldn't be like, you know, drama fight. Dang, yeah. man. I feel like those are the best kind of talks. With oh, your yeah. barber. They, you know? Yeah. Oh, or yeah. Your, your cosmetologist. Guru. Me and my barber, we uh we like brothers. So we mm-hmm. he'll call me talk. It'd be sometimes it'd be twelve, one in the morning. He'd be playing this game. We just be talking, vibing. So yeah. Dang, you don't do your own hair? Sometimes, Sometimes, but my uh my creative director, she's a hairstylist too. She does my hair. So I don't have to do that. Thing. Is that when you guys have meetings, like when you go in to get your hair done? No, not necessarily. We uh we usually have either a FaceTime call or uh, we'll just plan to go eat or something like that. Oh, okay. Yeah. We're, get- we're good with uh, separating. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we're good with separating. So we're doing one thing. We on mm-hmm. the trip. We're not finna yeah. make it business. I mean, if it's not. It kind of sounds like, is it your sister maybe? What, kind of like what my um, hairstyles? Your, yeah, your creative director. No, well, oh, okay. I mean, we <laughs> our bond that we have now is kind of like a sister, but no, we're we're just close friends. It's actually my brother's um, girlfriend. Okay. Yeah, so we, and she actually worked for me for some years, and uh, we work together now. So, yeah, we just got a close bond. Dang, that's what's up. <laughs> Keeping it close in the family, I like yeah. it. I guess soon she'll be your sister-in-law. She, yeah, I'm, I'm waiting. I'm hoping <laughs> so I can tell my story at their wedding. <laughs> Cause I, I linked them together. So ever since I linked them, oh dang, they've been inseparable. So they should, they should almost have you with, like in the wedding, like a part of the wedding. Yeah, I told my brother I need to be his uh, best man. Mm-hmm. And then I don't know what I'm gonna be on her side, but you could maybe do like a bridesmaid thing, yeah, maid like of a, honor or something. Yeah, like I'm gonna just have to stand in the middle. <laughs> Cause I can be able to be on both sides. Yeah. <laughs> Do you ever plan on getting married? Ooh, that's a good one. You asking some question questions. <laughs> um, I may. Uh, I'm a marriage. I'm a relationship oriented type of guy. So I don't. I'm open to it. Okay. Yeah, I'm open to it. So uh, I'm a love, love type guy. So if it happens, it happens. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not closed off to it. Dang. So you, do you don't kind of be like going out there in the streets looking for it? Nah. You kind of waiting for it to Cause come Because I to feel you? like when you look in, that's when you making yourself extra vulnerable. <clears throat> um, and then for myself, when I went looking, it was things that I needed to be working on that I was putting to the side. So I was like, okay, let me make sure I'm self-working and doing all this other stuff so when the person do come, yeah. I can have what I need. And that's that's not even self, you know, like financial or whatever. Mm-hmm. Those things. Because don't nobody want to be coming to nobody's life and they got all this stress and strain. You yeah, know, that's it. We true. all We all got our own personal stuff, so. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely went looking a couple times. Yeah. It didn't work out. And yeah, I was about to say, when you look, <laughs> what did you get? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, it came in out of nowhere, honestly. That And I, I was told <laughs> the best relationships usually just, they come when you're not looking. Yeah. So that's why I was like, okay, this time around, I'm just going to chill. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. when, when I was heartbroken, I was like, oh, that's stupid. Who would ever say that? But yeah. then it happened. I don't know. Yep. And yeah. you feel like everybody's the same. And then this one person come along, you're like, oh, you're a rare gem. You you got your flaws, but they're flaws that I can work with. Yeah. 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 What about kids? You ever plan on having kids one day? Honestly, I have a godson that I have been there for since mm-hmm. he came out his mother. 
and he's like my son, and I'm just like, mm, if this little kid is like, I don't know. <laughs> so he's like, uh, I think because I take care of him like my own, mm-hmm. I kind of feel like I have my own, so I don't feel like I need another one. Yeah. Um, but honestly, I'm open to one with the right partner. Okay. So I'm not going to completely close it off. Okay. But I'm open to one. More than one, I can do. Dang, really? Mm, I could do two dogs. Two dogs? Okay. Yeah, yeah. I could do two dogs and the, and the kid. Yeah. And then I got my godsons. Because the reason I'm saying one, because I feel like I already got him. Uh-huh. And I have him a lot. So I'm just like, one more is fine. Yeah. Maybe he's like a little trial run. He's definitely a trial run. Yeah, maybe like a subscription you pay for every month. He's maybe. definitely a trial run. And he's mm. not like sending them back. No, he's like, oh, I want to stay or I want to do this, I want to do this. So, yeah, yeah, I have him a lot. Dang, that's what's up. Yeah. But I, I want to like get like like four or five kids, man. Like a half half basketball team. Do it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm not going to say I don't. I love kids. I love mm-hmm. children. I love animals. I um, love people. But for my own, no. Dang. Can't do. Dang. You got to pass that voice on. Can't do, <laughs> can't do. I teach, I teach my guy. My guy's son loves my uh my voice, my and my music. So I just mm-hmm. teach him how to sing. He said he want to be a rapper. I was like, uh, let's try to. <laughs> I said we got a lot of rappers out here. Let's try to do some other stuff. But if that's yeah. what he want to do. That's what he because he might end up being like a, a Corday or a, a, like a, you know actual lyricist instead mm-hmm. of like killing George Dillon. I'm like okay, yeah. nobody want to rap about that. Like there. Chance the Rapper maybe. Chance to rap, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, like you, people like that. Yeah, I feel, yeah, you're like you're like the only R&B artist in in Augusta. Do you feel like that too? <laughs> I'm not gonna say that. No, I'm not gonna say that. But well, I haven't, I haven't heard any. Maybe. Well, I would say I'm one of the few. I'm not gonna say one, mm-hmm. but I'm one of the few that's taking it seriously. Yeah. Um, I've met a couple, and their attitude is like. Trash. I met an amazing R&B artist. He mm-hmm. actually featured on my song Ecstasy, Sean Lizzy, mm-hmm. and he does music and stuff like that. But I was on one of the few that's, um, that made sure I really branched outside of Augusta, yeah, um, and made connections and stuff like that. So mm. yeah. yeah, as far as like branching out, where all do you go? So I would say where I well where I've been, um, mm-hmm. I connected because I started back doing music in Atlanta. And then I came back to Augusta. So Atlanta, Augusta, um, so is it South Southbury, North Carolina, um, Charlotte. Um, I made some connects in Paris. Like France? Yes. Oh, damn. Um, oh, damn. I made some connects um, overseas. So I was partnered. Well, I'm still partnered with this company, Numella Stream. And so they were pushing out my music um, in the U.K., um, Movie placement, so I got stuff in New England, uh, you name it. So when I look at my stats and I see like where my stuff is getting played, and I'm just like, wow, I'm way over there, uh, <laughs> Africa. So it's just <laughs> different. It's just shocking. Yeah, but yeah. Did you? Whenever you started, did you think you would like be at this point? Hell no, <laughs> definitely not. I knew I was. Uh, so when I was uh, started back doing music five years ago, um, I was at a real low point, and I was like, "What? What made me feel good?" And I was like, "Oh, I used to write," mm-hmm. and that's how I started back writing and singing. I was like, "Well, I'm gonna just make music. I want to see how it sounds in the studio." And then um, I was like, uh, "The engineer I work with, he was like, have you ever recorded before?'" I said, "No, it's my first time." He was like, "I think you need to do this full time." Mm-hmm. So I just kept doing it, and I was like. Oh, I came a long way, but I didn't think it would. I would get to the movie placements. I was on some billboards. I I didn't think it was gonna get that far. Dang, you been on some billboards? Yeah, I was on some. I was like four billboards in Atlanta. Dang, I've never been on any. How it's, do I get there? It's it's not hard to do it <laughs> if you get you a budget. And then believe it or not, my first billboard um that somebody paid for that for me. The streaming company they was like, really? we want to put you on the face of the songs. I was like, okay, so. Dang. Yeah. yeah and people... I, I was one of the first artists with their company, and they told me I helped them bring in a lot more artists. So that really? had touched me, yeah. Dang. Was it the Numella thing? Yeah, oh, Numella okay. Stream. They're based out of New York. Okay. Yeah. What What is Numella? Is it like a different streaming platform? So Numella is a streaming platform. It's a radio streaming company. So what they do is they push um, independent artists to um, Lyfts and Ubers and stuff like that. So... You get like um, 
well, the the drivers get paid to stream your stuff. Oh, damn. And then the people that ride in the um, Ubers or Lyfts or whatever, they'll scan the QR code and it'll connect them directly to the artist. Oh, dang. Yeah, so I was, like, getting direct connects of, like, organic traffic. Yeah. And so I was, like, I was very thankful for mm-hmm. Numella um, starting up because I was investing in them and they was investing in me, too. So, yeah. Dang. How long have they been around for? Numella, they were starting up when I was starting up. So uh, I want to say he said they was started like a year or two before I started, but they was kind of like, you know, getting everything together. And then um, he said I was one of the main artists to like come in serious, bring music, and start Dang. bringing traction to Numella. So yeah. uh, we, me and his company was kind of like coming up at the same time. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I bet they get like a lot of people – a lot of emails from like not serious people so now i see where they went from they've upgraded their app a few times so now it went to they had to um they had a wait list and then they had to verify and then so then they had to uh go over what type of music it was um so i've seen them come a long way and every time yeah. i see them put some i'm like i'm very proud of them because mm-hmm. they came a long way dang maybe i should download it Numella is a well, it's a it's a stream app. So like, if you get well, I don't know if it's here in Augusta. Um, I think it is in Atlanta, but I know if in New York and stuff like that. If you mm-hmm. was to get in the Uber, um, a lot of, they might have a Numella QR code you can scan. Dang, yeah. that's like twenty second century kind of stuff. I feel like yeah, I feel like Numella is gonna be. I've already had a dream about it. I feel like they're gonna be like mm-hmm. big um, in less than 20 years yeah yeah because there's no other company they're the first company to do that yeah, yeah. that's very smart going like directly to like ubers and yeah. lifts and kind they of stuff like the that. independent artists and you never know you might have being a um um uh, the somebody on the sony team might be in a uber or something yeah. like uber black and they're like oh what's this artist and they want to scan you never know so mm-hmm. i say hey Dang. And then the person who's ordering the Uber or the Lyft, they can have, like, an option where it's, like, what mood do you want to be stepping into? Yep. And then it's, like, R&B or rap. Yep. Or and, like, it get, and it gives them different genres dang. and stuff like that. It's, it's cool. Dang. I like it. That's why I was like. I was like, that idea is, like, perfect. Yeah. Why, did I, that, why didn't we think of that? I don't know. It's, it, every it's time like, I saw a call, I'm like, dang, <laughs> why didn't that come? Well, yeah, yeah. I, I agree. Dang, man, we could be millionaires right now. Well, I don't know. If, I don't know their financial state. I mean, he's they might definitely be going to. If he's not a millionaire now, he's he's a uh, Steven. He's definitely going to be a millionaire. Yeah. Oh, so you get to talk with the owner and everything. Yeah, I got his phone number on my phone. You want to call him real quick? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Steven gonna be like, "What's up, uh, Soul J? What you got going on?" I'm like, "Man, I want a podcast." He's like, "Why he ain't tell me?" Yeah, he's he's cool people though. I I, I mess with him. Dang, They're cool people. That's man. what's up. So you also go by Soul J too, or do you yeah. go by that by like? Yeah, that's Everywhere. my artist name. Most Ooh. most of uh people that don't know me, they call me Soul J. But the people that know me, they call me um AJ Lynette. What y'all call me? Anthony AJ. AJ. Yeah, AJ. AJ. Yeah. Oh, okay. AJ. Where'd you get Soul J from? Um, so my cousin coming up, she used to call me J Nice. She was like, "When if if you be a singer, you need to call yourself J Nice." And I was just like, as I got older, I was like. Eh. I don't yeah. think I want to call it. That's like elementary school. Yeah, I was R&B. like, I don't want to. But when I was elementary school, it was fitting. Yeah. And then so uh, when I was trying to think about a name, I was like, well, I'm going to use the J. And I was like, well, I want to make music that touch the soul, blah, 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 mm-hmm. uh, make people feel. So I was like, oh, Soul J. So at first I was saying J Soul, but I was like, hold on. <laughs> and I switched it around. I was like, Soul J. So I hey, kept it like that. Had to do some multiplication and adding right yeah, there. Yeah, it, it took a minute. It took about a month or so to find, figure it out. But once I now the problem I'm having with now is I didn't think about you got Soul J when you look on platforms. Soul mm-hmm. J pull up, but you also got Soldier Boy. Yeah, I saw that too. <sighs> I was so like, let like, me get to the real artist, man. So when you type in that Soul J on Google, they'll say, they'll pull me up, but then they'll say, did you mean Soldier? No, we didn't mean nah, Soldier nah, Boy. Nah. We're nah. talking about R&B. We're not talking <laughs> about rap. Soldier Boy is like from my time. Yeah, it's like early two thousands. Yeah, we want the we want the present stuff. <laughs> So yeah, that's 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 how the name originated. Dang. Yeah. So when it hits you like Soul J, what were you doing? I feel like you were probably doing something mundane, like in the shower, driving to work, or something like that. I was actually driving. I hate to tell people that I I write a lot of my music while I'm driving. <gasps> it's very dangerous. Very dangerous. I write a lot of my stuff while I'm driving, but mm-hmm. it seems like it just flows. I don't know why. 
Uh, but I can, I can write um, stuff sitting at home, whatever. As long as I tap in, listen to the song a few times, I can start mm. writing. But uh, when I was writing, I was like, what what am I going to... I had wrote about four or five songs. I was like, what am I going to call myself? And that's when I started coming up with it. And I was like, um, Jay... It's, oh, it's Jay Holiday. That's already a name. Mm. And it was somebody else. Uh, I think it was Jay Howell. And so, I was like, no, nah, I don't want to name myself Jay Soul. And then that's why I was switched around. Yeah. Dang. So you write with like note, notebook and pad and pencil? Um, actually, on my, well, no, I type on my phone. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you like do the whole text and Yeah. Thing. And a lot of times I do it uh, at the stops and stuff I take. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Me too. Yeah. I don't. I don't do it when I drive. Yeah, it's not a good thing. I hope, like, <laughs> Progressive is not going to look at this. Yeah. Because they're going to like, oh, well, you just verify it. You text and drive. You're raking one up. <laughs> Wait, you can get in trouble for, like, texting and driving if they find out? Yeah, so, you know, they got those uh, <clears throat> those apps that you can um, put on your phone mm-hmm. or whatever, and it monitors your braking, your speed and oh, stuff. Oh, yeah. So it actually will monitor, too, how many times, like, if you open your phone, it'll monitor that, too. Man, they telling on us, yeah, man. Yeah, they monitor that, and I'm just like, oh, no, take that off. Yeah, I got to delete that. No, take you that off. I was like, that. what if I'm trying to go on my <laughs> GPS or something? The man was like, no, it don't monitor that. Yes, it does. <laughs> it, it monitors that. So, Dang. yeah, it, it'll monitor that stuff. Now, the one that you plug in your car, it doesn't. But mm-hmm. if you got to download it on your phone, it's going to monitor Yeah, that. they probably got viruses snitching on you. Yeah, absolutely. Looking at your history. And then your rate go up in six months. Yeah. No, <laughs> you're trying to get that rate down. Stuff's expensive already. Right, exactly. <laughs> so you go to Atlanta a lot? Yes, I go to Atlanta a lot. It's just like when I was in Atlanta, mm-hmm. I was in Augusta a lot. And now I'm back in Augusta. Um, got a place here. I'm in Atlanta more. So I'm like... <laughs> So yeah, I go to yeah. Atlanta a lot. Yeah, it's like when when you're in one place, everyone is trying to ask you to come here, and then when you get here, then everybody's asking you. And Atlanta, yeah. it, I mean Augusta is home, so I don't mind being um, Augusta and then traveling mm-hmm. out. Um, I'm, I know I'm not gonna live here forever, but um, if I get a good like distribution deal somewhere or something like that, um, and the money is good, then mm-hmm. you know, I don't mind going there. Yeah, yeah, but to then. Uh, and uh, Augusta, is she, what you say, Lynette? Yeah, win. Y'all win, win. Yeah, win. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and Augusta is <laughs> it, Augusta is just cheaper to me. Yeah, that's true. It, it's higher <laughs> than what it was, but it's much cheaper than Atlanta. So mm-hmm. I was like, okay, if I'm in Atlanta and I'm doing music and I'm still doing some work in Augusta, I might as well just be in Augusta and just travel out. Um, and then in yeah. Atlanta, I got a place up there to stay. I'm just like, if I got to go to Atlanta, stay mm-hmm. there or stay here. So yeah. Thanks. So you, do you don't use an Airbnb when you go to Atlanta? No. Okay, good. They'll uh, scam you, man. Yeah, they're I, expensive I now. I've been scammed once, <clears throat> and other than that, the other times was pleasant when I've stayed uh, when I went on vacation and stuff. Mm-hmm. But as far as Atlanta, Atlanta will try to scam me. Yeah, well, it's just like they're so expensive. It's like three hundred dollars a night, and it's like Airbnb was supposed yeah. to be the cheaper version of hotels. Exactly, like it's, it's hotels now. Exactly. You know, well, it, it's like clo- the closer you go to downtown, it's mm-hmm. definitely going to be expensive. Oh yeah. Um, and so yeah. Yeah, when Airbnb first came out, it was like $20 a night. You know, you could go almost anywhere. Yep. Now it's like 300 And it originated uh, COVID. COVID is what pushed that out. And then yeah. now they just... But people are making... Um, that's actually on my list to get one Airbnb property. Oh, like, dang. You're going to start scamming people too? No, I'm not. Okay. I'm, that, I'm a good guy at heart, so I'm definitely not going to scam yeah. people. You got to keep a good price. Yeah. Good you got to keep a good price, <laughs> good name, because things follow you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Do you, are you gonna have like a? What are you gonna have in like your Airbnb set up? You have anything crazy? No, not crazy. I was gonna um, do a theme, but I think I just wanted it to be like nice, uh, simplistic, mm-hmm. uh, minimalist kind of. Yeah. Yeah, and I do. I think I want a black and white theme, but I oh, might okay. try to change that white theme because it might uh, white get dirty fast. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah, I have a lot of randoms coming in and. Making things dirty. Yeah, it's hard. <laughs> and then I think I want to do the uh, the combo with the car, too. So if they rent a the place, they automatically get the car. Oh, damn. What kind of car would it be? I don't know. I've been thinking about it. It, it definitely got to be a Toyota or Honda. Something cheap on maintenance. Oh, oh, I was thinking like a Mercedes G-Wagon oh, no. or something. Oh, no. I've did. I've done <laughs> Toro before. I've been through the with the Benzes, and it's very costly. Really? Um, yes. If they tear up one thing, <clears throat> you're going to get it fixed. Yeah, you're going to make some money, but mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you rented your car out on Toro? Yeah, I had to. I was on Toro when I was in Atlanta. I had four cars on Toro. Dang. It was, it was a lot of work. I was running it by myself. It was a <laughs> lot of work. So imagine doing something here and then somebody booked and then I got to race back to Augusta, get the, mm-hmm. I mean, Atlanta, and get the car ready. 
to send out. It, it was a lot. Dang, were they all your cars, or was it mm-hmm. just like a money making kind of thing? Mm-mm, they was all my cars. I had a Acura TLX, a Toyota Camry, uh, E Class Mercedes Benz, and a. Did I have a C Class at that time? I had another car I can't remember, but Dang. it was one car I was driving, and the other three I was renting out, and then I would put the fourth one on there sometimes too. Mm. So you'd be, would you be like walking to work and stuff? Or? Oh no, oh, I wasn't. Okay. I wasn't walking. I always made sure I had a ride to work. So whichever car wasn't renting, I would black that out, block that out, mm. drive that one, and the other ones would be doing what they do. Dang, did you do you still have those cars? No, they got. Okay. Were they expensive? They was. Yeah, Toro was a lot of work, and then too, yeah. like uh, COVID hit, so it affected my <clears throat> income some. So mm-hmm. of course you gotta have income to make money. Yeah. So uh, I had to cut back. I was like, okay, I'm going to have to make some some sacrifices. Mm-hmm. But um, now I know going back into the game what to do. I yeah. think okay at like with me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. She she won't bite you or anything. She's just very curious. <laughs> She's scared. She probably, uh, she probably smell her dog, too. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> probably should have warned you. <laughs> did, you, did, you did you rent out your cars to rappers or anything? You know what? Honestly, I don't know. Because, you know, Atlanta is tricky because if somebody can't rent a car, somebody will rent the car for them. Yeah, yeah. So you would never know. Dang. It yeah. just smelled like the devil's lettuce whenever you got back in. One, I'm, I'm going to tell you now, one car. Hey, kitty, kitty. Now, one car, um, <laughs> i never forget. I had to miss. Well, it was two numbers on the app. And I um, I started to message the first one, but I didn't. I messaged the second one. Mm-hmm. And it was a man that rented it, and he was on his, uh, like, a bachelorette party or something. Oh, gosh. And he rented a car. He was by himself. And I opened the trunk. It was a belt, bottle of water, box of condoms, this and that. Dang. And I was like, <laughs> didn't you just get married? And so I reached out, and he was like, bro, I'm so sorry. I'm glad you didn't send it to that first number. That's my wife. And I was like, Dang. and then he tried to say it was his his homeboy. That was, I'm like, but you you said you was the only one driving the car. So I feel like he tried to have him some last minute fun. Dang, why do people do that though? They be going getting risky on bachelorette parties. I mean, I guess they feel like they want to do whatever before they lock it in. <laughs> Dang. Not <laughs> I'm me. not like that. I'm just like, I'm yeah. all the way out across the book. Yeah. Friend and relationship. <clears throat> what would you do for a bachelor party? Like if you were getting married. I kind of want to do a bachelor party, uh, like a, a destination. Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I kind of want to do everything destination. So I don't want no big whatever. Probably mm-hmm. invite about 20 people. 20 everybody. people? That's big. Well, I mean, uh, my close people, my mom, uh-huh. uh, close friends, and if they want to bring a partner. And okay. we all go destination. That's okay. It. Do you think I'll be on that list? or? I mean, I can ask you. Y'all <laughs> going to be married by then? Uh, we are engaged. Yeah, so we're, we're trying to find a date. Congratulations. So, yes, yeah, y'all definitely can come. Hey. Y'all definitely come. We definitely keep you in mind, especially <laughs> when I have my release party. Yes, we're going to put yeah. Brandon and his boo on the list. Hey. Okay. Yeah, I saw the um the first one was huge, my wasn't release? it? Yeah. yeah. So it actually was, uh, look at him doing his homework. <laughs> <laughs> um, the first one was actually bigger than what we expected. Because mm-hmm. I think we, we started small and we were just like, oh, we're going to do like 20 people. And then next thing I know, I think I sent out 150 invites. Oh, my gosh. And we probably had, like, 70 people come. Mm. And so it was actually a lot bigger than what I thought. So I was like, I looked, I was like, where are these people come from? Mm -hmm. So uh, I haven't told a lot of people we were planning a second one, and then I'm going to just send out personal invites to the people that came last year. Oh, dang, that's um, what's up. So you'll get an invite. You'll, hey. you'll be able to come sit. Front, Maybe we can film it or something. Front, front row. Of hey. course. Yeah. yeah, so, like, are we going to be kneeling and you're going to be, like, standing up or nah, whatever? How's that going to work? Y'all got to kneel. Y'all going to be <laughs> sitting in nice seats, comfortable. We're going to have a bigger, better location this year. Um, mm. Was it in Augusta last year? Yes, yeah, so it was in Augusta. It was with uh, CTC United Studio. Oh, okay. And they were, um, the hospitality were great. Mm. Um but yeah, we, we want to go bigger this year. Dang, that's what's Oh, up. whenever we do it. Yeah. We're planning for this year, but mm-hmm. if not this year, next year. Is that expensive to have like a release party like that? Um, I think if you go out based off a of budget and you just stick to the budget, mm-hmm. you you gotta mm-hmm. you just gotta make everything work. So I think the budget that we end up spending, I think it was like three thousand dollars. I don't think we did bad. That's pretty good, yeah. Yeah. So um of course the next one we're taking the budget up a little bit, but 
we still got a lot of the stuff from last year, uh, from doing it last year. Mm -hmm. So we don't have to buy a lot of that stuff again. So it might not even be that much. I think the main, the bulk of the um, the price will be the location and paying the DJ and stuff yeah. like that. But that's it. Yeah. yeah. Dang, that's pretty good. So you coming out with a new album soon? Um, I'm working on a, well, actually I'm finishing up a, a EP, so I'm doing an EP and mm -hmm. it's going to be actually part one and then part two I'm releasing next year. Okay. That's so it'll be a, uh, this would be my longest project I've ever done. I'm thinking about doing a 20 song Dang. album. So yeah. this one will be, the EP will be like five songs mm -hmm. and then the whole project will be, it'll, the EP will be five to six and then the whole project will be 20. Yeah, we need long albums again. Everybody locally, they're dropping five songs. Now, like, um, Chris Brown, he would definitely put out a long album. Yeah. Chris Brown used to give us about 25 songs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like the, the really good people will put a lot. Yeah. You know, yeah. But, like, but a, a lot of uh, local or surrounding, <clears throat> they, don't, they don't really do big um, albums. And then mm -hmm. a lot of times they're not consistent. So they'll put out something here and there. Yeah. And then they'll go ghost. But... I told myself I'm not going to stop uh, mm -hmm. at least try to put out something every other month or even if it's visuals, just do something. So Yeah. Yeah, because when you stop and then, like, take a break, it's always harder to, like, start again. Yeah. Like that's, that's harder than starting in the first place. Yeah. I'll take know? me a little break. So I might go on a, um, a hiatus or what they mm -hmm. could, what singers um, usually consider writer's block. Yeah. Um, and I might just take me a good 30 days or so but 30 to 60 days but during that 30 to 60 days i've already written stuff and i mm -hmm. have stuff so it's just like i'm just taking a relaxation yeah so i'm not stopping i've already worked yeah yeah because yeah, social media is kind of draining don't you think it's very draining yeah and i'm not good with um my creative director she tell me all the time you gotta post you gotta post you gotta <laughs> post and i'm not good with posting yeah every day. yeah i I'm forget not. to almost i definitely do i have so much stuff that i could post but like i forget to do it that's me I forget all the time, and yeah. it's just I'm not a. If I didn't uh, need social media to reach other audience and stuff like that, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't have social media. Yeah, it kind of sucks. Like the stuff we're doing, it, you kind of have to be good yeah. at social media or at least do it. You know. Yeah, I, I desire to be the artist one day to just post like mm -hmm. once or twice a year, get my traction, and just leave. <laughs> That's I would love to do that, yeah. but until then, I have to post at least. I think healthy. Uh, I think when I was uh, looking at this little social media class, it was saying as long as you post at least once or twice a week, you'll be fine. Yeah. Yeah. Keep your engagement up. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> but yeah, um, I I can't believe I said there really aren't any other R and B, but I forgot about A E the Cool. Do you know her? Yeah, I know A E the Cool. So I actually performed at an event, a uh, soiree last summer. Soiree? What is that? It, it was like a, um, it was like an elegant kind of. It was oh, for okay. a suicide prevention. That was the cause they was raising <clears throat> money for, and so I performed. Um, one of my songs on my last EP, I performed Overdose. Mm -hmm. And um, she was there. She performed uh, before before me and after me. But yeah, A.E. the Cool. She's she's cool. I met her. That's what's up. Yeah, she sat in that same chair. Yeah, A.E. the Cool. She's sweet. <laughs> I like her. And I, I think I saw her on um, a flyer for Miami Vibes. Yeah, she does a lot of local stuff, yeah. too. They um, The owner was asking me about doing a set there but at that time i had this cough that would not go away so i couldn't do it oh dang yeah. you had covid again no i didn't have covid I, it was post nasal drip oh dang what is that it's like when your sinuses are still just dripping in the back oh, okay and it'll cause uh irritation in the throat which will cause coughing mm. is that from like singing a lot mm. or just you can get it sick? from you get it um after being sick or you can get it from allergies mm. yeah you get allergies bad um the odor i've gotten yes really yeah when i was young um no. Yeah. When and I was young, I could probably jump in some dandelions or something. Yeah. I would. And uh, when I was younger, I had asthma. Now I don't have asthma. Dang. That's how, that's weird how that works. Yeah. Total Dang. opposite. Dang. Yeah. When I <laughs> when I was like a baby, I had asthma. But like other than that, I never yep. I never struggled with it. I had a bad. And I want to say when mm -hmm. I got like seven or eight. Mm -hmm. Dang. Um, you just learned how to breathe, I guess? I, well, I started playing um sports. So sports oh, yeah. is what helped. Did basketball, track, cross country, stuff like that. And it went away. Dang, really? Yeah. Dang. Are, do you still, like, stay athletic other than, like, the gym? Yeah, so I do uh, the gym. I'm back in there full-time. I had to some time off, but I'm back in there full-time. Um, 
What else I do? Of course, I still run. Mm -hmm. um, I want to get back into, so I want to do tennis. I would like to do basketball every now and then. Yeah. So I would want to do hiking. It's different stuff mm -hmm. I want to do. Yeah, pickleball is getting really big. Do you know what that is? Yes. They pickleball have their own is place. The, the, the small table. And yeah. Everything. Yeah. It's like tennis for old people. Yeah. I, like to I say. saw a competition <laughs> out and it was like really serious. Yeah, it's crazy. And I was like, I didn't know it was that serious. But yeah. They got they were serious. Like, yeah, and I like pool too. I know it's, is that a sport? Pool? Um, yeah, I would nah. say it's a sport. Yeah, yeah. Okay. you're competing. You're yeah, I like I like pool somewhere. too. Yeah, um, pool. Go to Alcatraz. Cool. You been to Alcatraz? No, no, no. It's very chill. Um, of course, people be drinking, but I like their chicken wings. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I don't I like. drink, so like I don't really go downtown a lot. Oh, great. Yeah. That's that's <laughs> a great thing. <laughs> that's a great thing. <clears throat> Have you ever thought about performing at, like Dirty Boots? Maybe What's throw that? like a, it's like yeah. a it's like a country bar. No, but I mean, they have a lot of country the, people. We can add it to the list. Yeah, it might throw a wrench in their little system, you know. We can add it to the list. We can find of fresh a, air for them. We can find a little slow song or something. Before. Yeah, <laughs> got people dancing out there slow. I yeah. I never been to. I I've had a couple of people on that perform there and stuff. And I actually want to uh, make. I said I want to make at least like two country songs. Dude, I can see you doing that, a country song. That's on with my the list. With a cowboy hat. That's on my list. Dang. Yep. What do you think it would be like? You give us like a little sneak peek. <laughs> I don't know what it, it just, uh, and I and I, I got people that send me beats and stuff all mm -hmm. the time, but I haven't heard uh, any country beats uh, oh, that dang. they send me. So I think it's something I actually have to search for. But they, yeah. I do desire to do at least one country song in the mm -hmm. next year. Dang, yeah, I'll definitely be adding that to yeah. my playlist. I de I definitely <laughs> want to do a country song. Yeah. But uh yeah, so for beats and stuff, how do you go about getting those? Do you look it up on like YouTube, like so, free copyright? Um stuff? when I started, um I had to search. I had to mm -hmm. look. I didn't even know where to look for a beat. At first when I started I had a uh um uh guitarist. Um his name name is Lang. I think he's in Alabama now. He was in Atlanta and he was playing for me and that's what started. Mm -hmm. And then after that, when I linked with my engineer, he introduced me to my engineer. Um, and then he was like, uh, oh, you go here, you go here. So I started finding beats. And then probably like two years in, and that's how I know my email just, mm -hmm. I'm waking up every other day, somebody sending me some beats. And I was like, okay, well, let me listen. So I would mm -hmm. listen, and then um, whoever I would decide to work with or choose, I would start working with them. So, do, yeah, do they give you like a snippet of it? And then if you want it, you well, buy it from they'll them? They'll send or? me the whole um, thing. I've had a lot of them actually send me uh, the beat for free but like mm -hmm. without the tag and they was just like hey if you could just um on the publishing side I get 50% um publishing Dang, whatever 50% the... yeah it's uh so artists are like at the bottom of the barrel when it comes to music because mm -hmm. everything we do we have to pay out of pocket <clears throat> yeah so we pay out of pocket and then on the back end that's where we get our commission versus everybody that you've paid they've, got, they've gotten their money up front and yeah. they get something on the back end dang so yeah. y'all are like waitresses almost. Waiters Pretty and waitresses. Much. Yeah, we serve everybody and then we get paid later. Dang, that sucks. Yeah. Yep. Mm. So uh like for like my movie placements uh that I have, a lot of them they were I've only gotten paid up front for one of them. Mm -hmm. And royalties. All of the other ones, they was like, Okay, this is the contract and you'll get your royalties on the back end. So Dang. So you've had your songs in music, or you've had your songs in movies too, right? Yeah, I got my uh, songs are in about twelve movies that I know of so far. Dang, yes, that's what's that up. I know of because <laughs> uh, three of them I didn't know they was in movies until uh, the streams were going up, and then I saw royalties and I saw where it's coming from. I was like, oh, they didn't tell me they was gonna use it, but do they still have to pay for those royalties though? Uh, who the yeah the people who made the movie? yeah yeah because the okay, uh, yeah. so the the software it'll pick up that is my mm -hmm. stuff and yeah. then yeah I get paid for it dang yeah where was it was it from Tubi yeah so my music's going Tubi uh, Amazon um, it's a movie on BT Plus I gotta remember which one that one is um, what's the other one. So it's, it's different networks. Mm -hmm. So it's not, yeah. yeah, just two, but it did start on Tubi. Yeah, I feel yeah. like Tubi's like the Wild West of like movie making. Yeah. You can like post whatever you Tubi want. Tubi is uh, one of my songs, uh, Down For You. That's like one of my top songs. Um, before it got on Movie Placement, I think I had like 60,000 streams. Mm -hmm. And that song has been Movie Placed for three years, and I'm almost at 500,000. Dang. 
So uh, movie placements mm-hmm. definitely help, and it definitely get people um, following you and coming in and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Dang. So what's like the biggest streaming platform for you? Is it Spotify or Apple or something else? I would say Apple is my biggest one. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I would say Apple is my biggest one because a lot of my people got iPhones. Yeah. I would say yeah. Apple, Apple and um, like the movie royalties because yeah. it, it brings them from the movies to, oh, I want to go download this song. Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm so. Dang, Apple. Yeah, I feel like a lot of people that have an iPhone probably use Apple or yeah. Spotify. Apple, and then, of course, SoundCloud is, uh, I think it's free or something. Yeah. So, SoundCloud, I was uh, placed on, it's a rapper named Cash Doll. My song was placed on her little mixtape or whatever. Mm-hmm. So, I got some traction from that, too. Yeah. yeah. I saw you, also saw you have a Pandora like, yeah, radio I got station a Pan- now. So, I had got an uh, email... What was that? I can't remember. I never forgot. I got the email. It was like, uh, hey, we would like to do congratulations, you, blah, 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 and you got your own station. I was like, I got a Pandora station? <laughs> so then I went and looked, and I was like, I got a Pandora station. And it was like, if you could send us a picture, update a picture or whatever, we'll um, put it on your station. So I was like, dang. I got a Pandora station. So dang. yeah, I was, I was excited. That's what's up. Yeah, and just to hear different artists like, um, that they match me with, so they uh, they only play like people similar to you. Um, mm-hmm. I, w- I wouldn't say everybody was sim because it was some dope people in there. <laughs> yeah. But, um, just to hear like Tank and Jasmine Sullivan and some people that's been doing this forever. I was like, they're my, they're playing on my station. Yeah. So yeah. Ho- hopefully they play me on their station. But yeah. It was a good <laughs> feeling. Yeah. That was one of my big accomplishments. Yeah. That's the stuff I saw. That. I was like, damn. <laughs> You yeah, also saw you're um, a six-time nominated R and B artist, right? Yeah, so I um, I didn't win any of. Hold on, did I win? No, I won two. I won two. I'm not gonna say I, I didn't win any. Well, I was nominated six times, and then I won two, and that was for uh, different awards in Augusta. Or it was an Augusta Awards thing. So um, I feel like the next time it come around, I'm gonna win them. Oh yeah, I'll definitely be. Uh, <laughs> I'll be voting for you. So I won too. So I was like, okay, cool. And then uh, my engineer at the time, he was like, uh, you know, when you nominated, he said you need to you need to post that. I was like, yeah. oh, I didn't know. So he was like, yeah, you need to be putting like you're you're a nominated artist. So I was yeah. like, okay. So hopefully one day it can go to uh, BET nominated or mm-hmm. whenever Grammy, you know. Yeah, Grammy so, not Grammy nominated would be nice. But like I was that. told getting a Grammy isn't hard. So really, yeah, I was told that several times. Dang, I'm, so, I don't even know how to start to get a Grammy. I I, I don't know either, <laughs> but hopefully uh, I know to start is uh, even with a podcast. I think uh, it's part of getting into the Grammy uh, Academy. Oh, so I think it's so I like go you back to school? join. No, no, no. So uh, I think it's online. You can join the Grammy Academy and go from there or something like that. So I don't know. I haven't uh, done all dang. my research. Damn, maybe I should do some my my, my research. You too. should, because you could be a, a Grammy nominated podcast. <laughs> I mean, hey, it happens. Yeah, that sounds crazy to say, but yeah, I guess it does kind of happen. happens. Yeah. Dang, dang. And you would do good because you actually have conversations and stuff like that. So I yeah, feel, I feel like you can get some awards. Well, thank you, man. Thank You're you. You're welcome. I feel like, yeah. Have you how many podcasts you've been on? I feel like you've been on a few. I've been on four. Oh, okay. I think sometimes people be uh scared to ask or something like that to have you on the podcast yeah i think yeah. um but like i said i'm, I'm very chill mm-hmm. very i'm not stuck up or anything like that so I, I if i have time um i don't mind doing it like i said i've, I've gotten paid for two of them so it's just like yeah, whatever oh dang maybe I'll, I'll pay you an iou <laughs> i mean i'll, I'll just sign off on it nah, or whatever you, you uh <laughs> yeah you you paying us with hospitality so that's yeah fine. I'll make clips for you guys too. Yeah. 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 You're, content you're good. For you. <laughs> you're good. You, you booked me, so you're good. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, the last one what it was on, it was like her. Yeah, her, her, her social hour. Yeah, yeah, her social hour. Yeah. So that was, uh, that was I'm a very, dope little setup. So I'm very proud of her because that's actually my creative director. Oh, And dang. when she uh, when she called me and booked me, she was like, I want to book you for so and so. I'm like, and we had a whole discussion because she was like, how much, uh, uh, how much you're charging? I said, we're not finna have this talk. <laughs> like we're not finna have this talk. But mm-hmm. we went through the whole rundown, or whatever. Um, I went there and it was it was very good. She actually just told me today she was editing um our clip. Dang. But yeah, I'm I'm proud of her. Yeah. Yeah, she's big too, I saw. 
I'm proud of yeah, now she does now that's the one that does she the social media queen. So I said, Hey, well, you got it. Dang, she gotta bless me with some, yeah. some, some of that. She some she's a she's a social media queen, so mm-hmm. she that's what mainly she do. So mm-hmm. if I had time to do that like every day, I feel like my platforms could be bigger. Yeah. But and I'm not gonna make an excuse. I could, <laughs> but it's just it's tiring. Social media is work. I mean, yes. I'm pretty sure you understand. Yeah, it's so draining. Yeah. You like Edit work in. on like stuff and then it gets like three likes. I'm like, exactly. what? How does that Like even before work? I was coming, I was trying to make a get ready with me video. I'm just like, I'm doing this and I still gotta do this. Yeah. But it's it's what you gotta do. Yeah, it's a lot, but I mean some people do it though. It's what you gotta do. Even with TikTok, um, to see people create uh like um, videos with my music mm-hmm. and it'll, it'll TikTok will tell you I wish Instagram did that mm-hmm. but TikTok will tell you so like my number one um, you song on TikTok is Addicted and so I got like over one point something views for that Dang. song videos like over 7,000 videos Dang. so it's it's to the point the algorithm haven't even catched up with the video yeah. uh, with yeah. the, so it's just like mm-hmm. but it all started with me just <laughs> making videos with my song getting a few videos here and yeah. there and then they're picking up yeah that's what you got to you got to make like a thousands of song thousands of videos with your song yeah. and then it'll blow up and, so, and sometimes it it just automatically pick up uh-huh. i don't i think the algorithm favors who it want to favor yeah definitely but it once it pick up it pick up yeah but yeah hopefully you're not like like your song gets really big because like I feel like everybody's song that gets really big on TikTok, then they they, they go, go away. That is what well, <laughs> I nah, so I'm not gonna go away. I just I'm hoping and praying. I'm like Lord, please, yeah. TikTok just that I can go ahead and do this, this, yeah. this, because there's some people that's gotten big on TikTok, and I'm just like their music, and I'm not bashing anybody, but mm-hmm. it it just needed to stay on TikTok. Like yeah. they're just a TikTok artist. <laughs> yeah. Some people are. I just yeah. feel like I'm like this isn't. Um, something to make a career out of Mm -hmm. this is just for tiktok yeah but i think the ogs that been in i'm not an og but the ogs that's been in music they'll say the same thing they'll just be like that's fun music this isn't real music that's fun music so yeah yeah same with like um viral people they get really big they don't really ever do anything after like Haley welch the hawk to a girl yeah. she's definitely trying to like spread out her 15 minutes of fame which i i mean i think it's pretty cool i mean how, i don't i don't blame them but yeah so i i was just telling um my sales i was looking at a new car the other day and i was telling my salesperson she was just telling me it's uh people are struggling with identity this and that blah blah and what i told her fits <laughs> with what you're saying i was telling her when you um stick to who you are and create yourself mm-hmm. and you build your foundation that lasts much longer than when you try to copy somebody else yeah. like if you see another trend and you copy yeah it'll go viral but it goes away mm-hmm. it's not gonna stay yeah so um even with that i'm just i don't anytime i see anybody go viral i'm just like that's not even amusing to me anymore i'm just yeah. like okay if I see some talent go viral, I'm just like, okay, they deserve that. Yeah. But if it's not really talent, like something like hot too, I'm just like, <laughs> I don't, I don't knock her. But uh-huh. to me, if I, if I was to say something about hot too, and then I got the attention, yeah. I'm finna make y'all focus on what I want y'all to focus mm-hmm. on, like something that's going to last. Yeah. But yeah, hey. Yeah, I would, I would seriously want to ask her like. Would you really want to be known for like Hawk Tua? That's exactly. another thing. Like, is a is like a girl. I feel like that's like one of the last things you want to be known yeah. for. And then you have a uh, <laughs> some kids. They're gonna be like, oh, that's the Hawk Tua girl. <laughs> you want to be known for that, especially if you have a daughter. Yeah, that's no. yeah. I don't know. I, I seriously want to ask her that, but um. But like I said again, I don't knock her because ooh. that's it's just not fitting for me. Yeah. But if that's for her, hey, kudos, girl, making money. Yeah. Yeah, I also heard that she was like gay. Like before she came back to social media, there was a lot of rumors saying she was gay. She but probably was. It's yeah. it's a lot of it's a lot of them you won't even uh-huh. suspect. Yeah, maybe that's why she made the joke because she didn't relate to it. I don't know. I'm just like crazy world. <laughs> very crazy world. But I, I guarantee you once the light is shined on me, I'm gonna make it uh shine brighter. brighter. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it worth the while. Mm-hmm. I'm not gonna misuse it. You know, I'm just gonna be the same whole person. Whether yeah. I got a million dollars or zero dollars, I'm still gonna be the same person. Yeah. Whenever you do get a million dollars, we'll have you back on. Yeah. Let's see if it's the same. Yeah, it's it's <laughs> gonna be the same because I'm just like all the, like I said, I'm a humble guy. You can ask me. I've been humble. If she's yeah. known me a long time, I've been the same person. Mm-hmm. Dang, I like that though. A lot same of people person. don't get a little bit of like um, 
little bit of fame or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, I'm uh, famous. I guess whatever. because uh, I, when I started working with celebrities before I started like being around them musically, mm-hmm. um, that kind of helped me humbly too. I've always been a humble guy, but it's just like it kind of took that like. Oh, okay, I see y'all faking a lot of stuff. Yeah. So I'm like, this ain't nothing to be mm-hmm. amused about. Yeah. And then everybody else can like see it too, and they're calling it out, but they're not calling it out to them. They're like talking to other people about it. I have a very like close celebrity friend, and she's um now everything she does and she has is authentic. Mm-hmm. But um she's shown me a lot, coached me a lot on stuff, and she's just like, you don't have to have this. She was like people are renting this people mm-hmm. are, and she's showing me this. so she she helped me a lot in the celebrity world yeah that's another thing people rent out stuff that's what i was asking about the rappers renting out your cars but it's like, like it's, they're renting it and then <laughs> you have people like us we're busing our tails to acquire that thing when yeah. they don't even have it yeah Maybe maybe we should start doing that, just renting out stuff, not owning it, because it's way more expensive. Yeah, see, and the older <laughs> I've gotten, like those uh, Benzes and stuff, I, had, I I've learned to you're supposed to lease those things, mm-hmm. and then you're supposed to buy foreign, so like Honda and Toyota and stuff. Those are the things you're supposed to buy. So it's like, I'm, we're looking at the wealthy people with Ferraris and stuff like this, and we're like, they're lease some of them, they're leasing yeah. that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I feel like, do you know who Riff Raff is? That name sounds the weird. rapper. That name sounds familiar. He he had the song uh, "Tiptoeing in My Jordans." That name sounds familiar. I think I heard that song. Uh, well, he's had like a bunch of different uh, cars. cars. I definitely think he leases them out. Yeah, some people there. I mean, you get a write off for it too. If yeah. you uh, lease them in your business, you get a good write off for them. Wait, really? You can write them off for your taxes? Mm-hmm. Oh dang, I didn't know that. Yeah, I got uh, business car insurance. I can write it off. Dang. <laughs> Maybe I need to start an LLC. If you put or your uh, your logo on your car, you can. Oh yeah, I have seen that. Yeah, put get a little sticker put on. Yeah. Do you have a f- picture of your face on your car? No, nah, I don't. I got my my tag on it. Oh, okay. And then yeah. I got commercial insurance, so those those my right. I write off my miles and stuff. Dang, that's pretty smart. Yeah, but you got to keep all the receipts. Mm-hmm. Oh wait, yeah, business to? bank account slide it. Oh yeah, I guess that's business. true. Yo, Dang. let your let your tax appear estimated. Yeah. Go on about your business. My my dad has his own business, so I remember always lo- watching him do that in a notebook. <laughs> yeah. Like watching the miles. Yeah, some people and then and you got apps and stuff, but I've only I only drive one car, so I every mile that I drive is business. Yeah. Dang. So you're gonna write off this yeah. this driver over here? Around Dang. Around. That's a, that's I that's, do it, do it every year. <laughs> <laughs> Does it work though? I've heard like writing off doesn't really work as much as it should. Um, you don't want to write off too much because you don't want to start writing off. Uh, and then your AGI is your annual gross is like low, and then if you try to go buy a house, and they're like, okay, we see you writing off all this stuff, and your income says negative, oh, and you dang. got back. Uh, yeah, you're gonna get back some money, mm-hmm. but uh, people are gonna look at that. They're gonna be like, well, we don't know if you make enough money. Yeah. So you don't want to write off too much. Dang. Yeah. Hmm. You want to write crazy. off enough to get your tax breaks and stuff, but you don't yeah. want to write off too much to where you're like digging yourself in a hole, and then you gotta fix your AGI the next two years, and then that's when you're trying to go buy a house and stuff. Dang, yeah. All right, I'm, I'm not gonna be doing that. No, I'll do that. <laughs> just just write off some stuff, um, and like your, your lights, your camera stuff. You can write depreciating every year. You can get depreciating mm-hmm. value. Dang. Yeah. Well, like to have an LLC, do you have to make money first? Because I don't no, make no, no. any money from this. No, no, no. So you don't have to. Um, you can get an LLC. So you can get your LLC, your EIN number. You can open your business account. And you can put your regular, um, I don't know what you do as your normal work, but mm-hmm. you can put your regular checks in that account. And that will be considered business income. Dang. Yep. I never thought of that. And then just pay yourself from whatever you need for bills and stuff. Just transfer it over to your personal account. Dang. <laughs> That's how where did you learn all this stuff from? I I do financial <laughs> stuff and and just I guess from owning uh the salon yeah. and stuff like that, the business Dang. stuff, yeah. Have you ever heard of Salon 117? Isn't that downtown? No, or yeah. in Evans. Um it was in Evan, well, I guess it was Evans. It was over there by the Carolina Pottery. Yes, that's for me, yeah. Cuz I I like their sign. It's a I think it's like is it lowercase salon and then the numbers or is it capital S? And then numbers. I don't know. They move. Is it like a black uh, circle around a 117 or something? I think I've seen it hmm, before. Maybe. But it's my fiance's mom. She does hair, oh, too. okay, okay. Yeah. I think I've seen it before. Yeah. yeah she would She would definitely say a lot of the same. So I say, like, uh, we can do our tools and stuff. We can write them off. Yeah. Stuff like that, yeah. Products. Hmm. But yeah, I also saw you on the Unplugged thing, right? Where it was, like, Unplugged. the jungle thing. 
Jungle uh, theme room. Oh, um, yeah, that was. I forgot about that one. Yeah, in Atlanta. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it was. It was uh, an experience. They mm-hmm. actually had forgot about me when I was there. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, <laughs> like, 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 yeah, we would love crazy? to have you over. Here, blah, blah, and I went, and they was like, "Hold on, you're you're on. You're supposed to perform." <laughs> I was sitting on the side just chilling. Me and my creative director, my best friend, and uh, my stage director. We were just sitting on the side chilling. Dang. Yeah. But they was, did... they was they was good people. Okay. Very sweet. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe just one of the things you kind of forget sometimes. Yeah. They was, and they was, I think they was backed up, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. somebody, um, you was only supposed to bring up to two or three people, I think. And, mm-hmm. Well, two people, and then every other person you had to pay for. Oh, okay. This one guy came and he brought a bus full of a van full of people. Oh damn! And they was like, "You only allow up to <laughs> three people," and so they was filming and also and it just backed up everything. Dang! Yeah. Do you remember who it was? I definitely don't know because I was just like, "Okay, there's somebody I don't know and I don't <laughs> care to know." <laughs> so you're one of those people. Dang! So that was pretty cool though. Do you you perform live and like what else do yeah, you yeah. do there? Um, I perform live and it was like uh, I I feel like they were shocked. So they was like, "Are oh, you performing live?" They was like, "Oh, we our people don't even be performing live." I said, "Yeah, that's what I thought I was doing." <laughs> they use the so, back So or now I know they was like, "Well, you know, when you come back, if you decide to come back, they was like, you could just sing to your song." I was like, "Oh, I didn't know that. I thought you were supposed to perform live." Shoot. <laughs> Dang. So yeah, I feel like it's a pretty popular place. I feel like they've been really yeah. growing lately. They've, um, they actually started their platform colors too, and um, I like what they're doing with that too. So yeah, um, they asked me about coming back to that, and I told them yeah, I would. Mm-hmm. Dang, that's what's up. Yeah, I had a uh, I had a rapper on named Urban Swave that he I also was on there. I gotta look on their page to see who that is. Yeah, but I've oh. seen a lot of people on there. It looks like a cool place. It was this one guy that performed the day I did. He was like, it's hot, hot, hot. I like I liked him. He was from Florida. Oh dang! He the Urban Swave dude is from Florida, Miami, did, I think. Did he have a suit on? No, I don't okay. think so. Yeah, he was he was cool. He had long hair. He brought his girlfriend. I was like, I, his song was catchy. Oh, for real? Yeah. Dang. <clears throat> so yeah, you so you performed. Was there anything else? Because I saw like three different videos from there. Was it like a vlog kind of thing too? Yeah. So they did a um interview. They did a oh, live yeah. interview. They did a live performance. And I. And then they did a, uh, I think they did like a snippet. I think I had to do a drop or something. Oh, dang. Yeah. Were well, you like, like an introduction kind of thing or yeah, something? Yeah, I think that was it. Dang. Yeah, so it was like three different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Is that the first time you've done something like that? Were you like perform live in front of just the mm-hmm. camera? No, I did the uh, the soiree thing and perform oh, yeah. live. And then um, throughout the years, uh, even before I started uh, singing seriously, I performed at weddings, funerals. Um, dang, funerals. Yeah, funerals is always a little, yeah. Uh, Cause I was like, eh, I don't. It would be weird to be performing at a funeral. Uh, and I actually, I had an older brother. I sang at my um, older brother's funeral. Oh damn. Uh, yeah. So yeah, I've always sang at different places live. Mm-hmm. So live singing wasn't a problem for me. Oh yeah. Well, I was just saying like, there's. I feel like there's a lot of like live performances, but it's just in front of a camera kind of thing. A lot oh, of yeah. stuff like that kind of. So in front up. of the camera, um, I would say a few times, but oh, in front okay. of an audience, yeah, that's. Mm-hmm. More than twenty times. Dang. Do you ever get nervous when you go right before you go up there? Mm-mm. I think I got nervous going in front of the camera before people. Really? Yeah. Dang. I don't. I don't know if I can get in front of the people. Yeah, I could. I could do the people because I'm. I'm good at public speaking. So. Oh dang. Yeah. You take a public speaking course in college? I did. I took uh three of them. Dang. <laughs> dang. I didn't even take one. Yeah, I took three of them. I had to take a. I got a degree in health, so I had to take three public speaking one, one, mm. one hundred and one, I think, one hundred and two, and two hundred and one, or something like that, two hundred and ten, something. Oh dang! Yeah. And for that, do you have to just uh, talk in front of the class, or do you have um, to do like stuff? Outside they just of go class? over. Um, we had to record uh, for our final. We had to record a presentation, mm-hmm. um, speaking to like two people. Uh, to our, our friends or something like that. They wanted mm-hmm. it to be close people because they were saying like sometimes they make you nervous or something. Mm-hmm. Um, but no, it was uh, we spoke in front of the class a couple times, but it was mostly just talking about etiquette and your words and stuff like that, hand gestures, body oh, language, dang. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. Dang, I thought you would be like talking in front of like a big audience or something. For, mm-hmm. like, we a had final to grade. speak in front of our classmates. Uh, yeah, and that was like what class of thirty, thirty-five. Uh, that's not too bad. Yeah. Dang. Hmm. So you've performed like a lot. Like, have you been on tour yet? No, I haven't been on tour. I I told myself by next summer, 
sometime next year, I would like to start doing a tour. Mm-hmm. Whether it's because um, I have to, I have to look at what cities, um, what spaces, stuff like that. So it'll be a small tour, mm-hmm. but I would love to do a tour. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think uh, the streaming platform could definitely like sponsor or help you out in some way, right? So I actually, and then I, I got some connects with some important people. So I feel like if I reach out to them, pitch mm-hmm. the idea. Um, they will be all in. Yeah. So yeah, Dang, that's I, what's up. Yeah, I I definitely want to do it. It's 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 definitely in the mm-hmm. background. In the works. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think you would stage dive? No, I wouldn't stage dive. Man. Dang. I don't think I'll stage dive. Dang. Maybe. Nah, I would. I would grab hands yeah. and shake and stuff, but I wouldn't stage. Yeah. Dive. You'd be like, you'd be giving a performance though, right? Like. You know, yeah. some, I don't know, something I dramatic. Give a, I give a performance, but people are weird, and I'm just mm-hmm. concerned about people touching your private areas. Yeah, and stuff smacking like. your butt. That'd yeah, be kinda weird. Uh, just like so, I won't stay shy. Or they might snatch a watch if you're wearing one. Yeah, I'm just know. like, yeah, <laughs> people. People are weird these days. So yeah, I don't think I stay shy, but yeah. I definitely like. I get down in the crowd, talk to people, all that stuff. Dang, you be down in the crowd singing. Mm-hmm. I let other people sing all that. Oh yeah, I've seen some videos of that, and it's like where people don't know how to sing. But then sometimes they really do know how to sing, and it blows you away. You know? Yeah, yeah, and I don't mind. I don't even care if they sing better than me. It's, I'm not that type of person. They could be a backup for you. Yeah, <laughs> I definitely be like, hey, come up on stage, shoot, <laughs> bump. It. I feel like you could be an actor too. Have you ever thought about acting? Uh, I'm actually in a movie that's coming out. Uh, Dang. Oh yeah, I did see that. Yeah, what's yeah. that? Uh, what is it? What's the name of the movie? Is it? I think I love her. Yeah, I think Ooh. I love her. I think I'm in like four scenes on that movie, and then I actually got. Two or three songs in that movie. Dang. Yeah. Do you talk at all, or yeah. do you just kind of like extra? Mm, I talk. I talk um, in like three of the verses, and then one of them. Uh, I mean, three of the parts, and mm-hmm. then the fourth one. I think you just see me in the background throwing some money or something. Uh, okay. Yeah, we like throwing go out, um, and I'm throwing money in my oh, area. Is it like real money? No, it's prop money. Oh, dang. If it was real, I would keep it. <laughs> <laughs> Did you keep some of the prop money and like try to use it here and there? No. See, they collected the prop money. Oh, they took it yeah, back? Damn, they I probably would have snatched it. Because they needed it, it for other scenes. <laughs> 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 so I couldn't keep it. But yeah, yeah, I'm in. Uh, I think I love her. I think it comes out in October. Oh, then what's it come out on? Um, It'll be on everything. So it's it'll be on Prime, BT Plus, Tubi. Um, did she? No, she didn't say Netflix. It was other other platforms. She mm-hmm. gave me like seven of them. Oh dang! Yeah, so it'll be on. That's worldwide. So I was like, perfect. I get <laughs> I get the, the royalties too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So do ro- are royalties like expensive? Like how do, how does that work with payment? I guess. So for, royalties are generated based off of stream. So um, basically, how many every times the movie is played mm-hmm. and then my song is played? Um, when the movie is paid, then I'm paid. Oh, okay. So I had, to, of course, I had to give them my BMI information, um, the music company, and they put that information in. And so every time it's streamed, you get paid, mm-hmm. you know, that uh, percentage. So they don't have to pay me. The BMI people pay me. Oh, dang. Yeah. That's what's up. So it's based off of, and that's how they, uh, I think they call it like a mechanical royalties or something like mm-hmm. that. And so, yeah, that's how you get paid. Oh, dang. Yeah. Hmm. So movie placement, um, you get paid way more than music streams. Yeah. So like movie placement, um, so I would desire to get like a deal with Netflix and stuff mm-hmm. like that because they pay you up front and you get paid yeah uh, monthly. So and you probably get paid pretty well with Netflix. Yeah, I I know an artist. He he's not even big. Um, he's big in New York, but he gets paid like um, great money. Dang. Monthly. Dang. So I would love to do that. Yeah. So is streaming profitable? Like, do you get like a lot of money from streaming? I would say from them five hundred, almost five hundred thousand streams just off that one song, I probably got thirty thousand dollars. Oh no, it's <laughs> definitely not like because it's it the it's you get point depending on the platform. I think mm-hmm. I think like uh, let's say Spotify for instance. I think it's like point zero zero zero. One zero, mm-hmm. so it's not even a penny. Yeah, dang. It's like a, a six of a penny. Yeah. So, um, and that's for every stream, per stream. Oh, so even if you got a million streams off of one song, you probably got like 
five hundred dollars a thousand dollars. Oh dang. Yeah, so it's not really streaming isn't really profitable yeah. what people think. Now social media, if they're using it on social media platforms, mm-hmm. the social media payouts are good. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Social media payouts are higher. Um so Facebook might pay you ten cent um every five hundred views or something like that. Oh dang. If you get good. a million views and stuff, you know, you're gonna yeah. get paid way more. Oh, dang. Or uh, like a dollar or something, yeah. something like that. I guess that's like the same for TikTok and Instagram as well. Yeah, TikTok, Instagram, you're going to get paid out higher than your streams. And then, like I said, at the top, your movie placements, you're going to get paid way more. Yeah. So that's why I was like, hey, if I just, and that artist that just make movie, uh, music for movies, I do that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And yeah, because so. that, yeah, that's probably the best the way to make money. Yeah. This streaming crap is crazy. Yeah. Dang. Because it came in on, I want to say, um, like three songs, my first three songs. Probably like six months, six to eight months later, I think I had like 300 and something dollars on my oh, dang. distro <laughs> kids. So I was like, oh, shit, this way. But I was like, I just do movie placement. So like yeah. from the song, uh, when they released their movie back in May, mm-hmm. I've occurred up into June, I got $70. Oh dang! Just all that one song. So I was like, I'd much rather that than. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. That'd probably be way better, and it'd be a good way to get your name out there too, because your oh, name yeah. would be somewhere in the credits. I yeah, would imagine. it's definitely in the credits the and the soundtracks then, um, too. When people playing it at home, I'm seeing in my Apple Music, um, like I'm seeing the Shazam. So it shows me people that Shazam the music. Dang, um, yeah. that's cool too. I didn't think about that. So I get uh, in Apple Music, and it's just Apple Music alone. I get like a hundred Shazams a week. And Apple Dang. Music. So that we just talking about Apple Music alone. Yeah. So I don't know if they Shazam and then going to Spotify because Spotify isn't showing me that, but I definitely see it in Apple Music. Oh dang. Yeah. Hmm. That's weird that it would only show one. Hey, but you're getting it though. Yeah. Now, as long as I, <laughs> but now I can say my music a Muso AI, that's a platform that pulls all your um all your data together mm-hmm. over all platforms. That shows me my overall Shazams. Oh, dang. So, yeah, it's like 4,000 and something Shazams. Oh, a week? No, 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 all together. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. I was about to say, a week is good. Nah, man. I wish. But, yeah, so I was, One day. I was excited. Yeah. yeah. One day. Mm. Well, thank you, man, for coming on. I appreciate Thanks. it. Thanks. And, I, and I, um, I'll be celebrating soon, but I just re- I checked my stats because stats are usually three to six months behind. Mm. But I finally reached one million overall streams. Uh, everything so i just checked other i was like what <laughs> so i'm excited yeah but movie placements any artists out there shoot movie for place, movie placements yeah Dang, that'll that's get you up. out there yeah so yeah I, I think it's like 1 million 17 whatever so Dang. i'm excited that's what's up what do you have coming up like in the fall winter um so what i have coming up uh let me see i had a fashion show to go to on september 7th Dang. in new york um, you'll be I a got, part of? No, like no, you'll I'm be not walking gonna, out? I'm not going to be a part of, but oh, okay. this is my close friend. She owns, I don't know if you ever heard of Fashion Mom Daily, but oh, she so, owns man. that platform. It's her fashion show. Oh, okay. So um, I'll be there. Um, I got my EP coming out in October. Um, we're still working on the Miami Vibe Showcase because since I missed that back in July, I'll see if he wants me to do it again. Yeah. But, just pretty much, and then uh, visuals, connections, and making mm-hmm. new music, and that's pretty much it for the the fall. Dang man, you sound busy. <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, uh, hey, hey, hopefully I get more business. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But I know it's gonna be busy, so. Mm-hmm. And Lynette, she hanging in there with me. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. And uh, what's your socials? Uh, your so my socials, you got Instagram. It is Soul J Official, S O U L J Official. TikTok is the same, Soul J Official. Um, YouTube is Soul J underscore Official, or you could just type in Soul J. Mm-hmm. Um, recently, you can find me on Google, so <laughs> you could just type in Soul J, and you can pull me up. Yeah. Um, Bypass Soldier Boy, all that other stuff. Yeah, don't say you mean Soldier. <laughs> so capital S, lowercase O L, and then capital J, no spaces. Mm-hmm. And then uh, Facebook is Soldier as well, mm-hmm. or the Soldier Records. And I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah, but if you can't find anything, if you just type in Soldier on Google, it'll connect you to everything. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I saw that one video where you showed the song to one girl and she hugged you. 
Uh, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. It was like it was like episode one. You were asking people what they thought oh, of your music. Yeah. She thought it was so good. She hugged you. Me and my video like, guy. Uh, me and my video guy. We was walking. <laughs> we was trying to do a series. I'm gonna have to start it back up. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. And I was like, uh, how can I connect with my people organically? And then yeah. we started that. So I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna start it back yeah, up. Yeah, I was like. Dang, he's got. I hear people hugging him because his music. Yeah, they was like, they was like, oh, I like that. I ain't heard that before. So yeah, yeah. But yeah, if you can't find me, just like I said, just go to Google, type in Soul J, and now mm-hmm. I can just tell people. They ask me who is that. I can say just Google me. <laughs> so yeah, you can put it up. Well, thank you, man, for coming on. I appreciate it. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate you. You're welcome, man. But uh, yeah, thank you guys for listening. Um, and uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next one. See you guys later. Got my soul in a choke. I feel I can't breathe. Keep my foot on the gas, my life in full speed, feel like I